Hey, what's up guys? I had a few minutes, so I thought I'd hop on here and make a short video. Um, just letting you guys know who I am a little bit. And uh, yeah, right now we're in a parking lot waiting for my kiddo to come out. And of course the dog had to come because uh, all he does is cry before I leave. So he gets to my heart. Anyways, um, so yeah, a few things. I'm 37 years old. I live in Western Massachusetts. I have one son. He's going to be 12 in August. I have a beautiful wife of around 11 years. Um, I was born right up the road here in Northampton, Massachusetts, a small town. Um, we currently live really close to Springfield, Massachusetts, if any of you guys are out there and are familiar. Um, about two two and a quarter hours uh, from Boston north so yeah so I grew up around here um, both my mother and father were pretty heavy drinkers um, growing up I was uh, around seven or eight and they divorced finally they would physically beat each other up it was pretty bad I had I have two brothers and two half sisters. So both of my parents have a daughter with a different person. And I am the youngest of all those. So I feel like growing up, I had the most pressure on myself. Um, I felt pressure of having, I, I had to do the best because I seen my brother, my brothers go down the wrong path. So the pressure was always on me, I felt. Um, yeah, so they divorced when I was around seven or eight, finally. Um, my dad quickly, um, when he got out of jail multiple times for hurting my mom, he scooted up to Vermont because he met a, a girlfriend really fast. My mother eventually won the battle of myself and my middle brother. So we went with her. The thing was, is she didn't have a household. She didn't have a stable uh, place for us to go. So it was the two of us, myself and my brother and my mom. And the court ordered us to go to a homeless shelter for, <clears throat> I think it was up to two months. It was a little bit up north from here. To get herself um, together, to get a job, to save, and to get a house or apartment, whatever the case may be. Well, we were there, and we met, you know, several other families, um, which was a challenge because we were really young. We really didn't know what was going on. We would never had money growing up. We never had, you know, we were in and out of schools. Um, I was always shy. Um... I always had long hair. I always wore a hat like outside of um, school. And anyways, um, yeah, we always had food stamps. I remember we had the paper food stamps going into stores and my mom being kind of embarrassed and counting out the different colored food stamps, whatever. Um, so going back to the shelter, we were there for two months. My mom couldn't get her feet together or stuff together. Couldn't get her feet on the ground. So it was either we go to foster care or my dad up in Vermont got his stuff together. And eventually mom said, listen, I can't do it. I'm going to have to go move with her, her mom. She eventually moved up to Maine with her parents. And we went with my dad. And my dad lived up in southern Vermont. And at that point, my dad was doing pretty good with his, I guess, girlfriend at the time. But he soon remarried her a few years later. And, and there in Vermont, I spent m all the way from eight or nine on until I graduated high school. So um, things kind of calmed down after they divorced and separated. Um... We didn't have to deal with the drinking and abuse anymore. No physical abuse to me, but it was a lot of um, mental um, abuse 
and seeing my mom, you know, you know, get beat up. I don't even like talking about it. Um, my mom, another story has passed a few years ago. So God bless her soul. Hope she's doing good. And that's another story. But, um, and I'm still pretty close to my dad now. My dad doesn't live far from here. Um, so, anywho, we uh, got up there, kind of settled in. We got into schools. Things started happening. Um, my father got me into sports. I think sports, one thing I give my dad credit for, I love you, dad, getting us into sports. Because if it wasn't for sports, I think we would, I would go down the wrong path. So I played, you know, football, basketball, baseball, little league, all the way up through high school. Did well for myself. Um, my grades were okay, but again, f f for the sports, you needed a certain average to play sports. So that's what kept me going. So again, thank you, sports. Thanks, Dad. Um, and, you know, in between there, there was a lot of ups and downs. Um, I almost went down the wrong path a few times with drugs and alcohol, and uh, that runs with the family, but you still have to make a choice, right? I made a choice. So I graduated high school, did well in sports, was a three-sport athlete, eventually wanted to try college, so I went out west to Salt Lake City tried a little bit of football, summer league football. <clears throat> was there for about a month. First time away from home, didn't want to go. So I decided to come back to Western Massachusetts. And before that ever happened, I told myself, if this football thing doesn't work out, I'm gonna go to the military. So I decided to join the Navy. I did four years in the Navy. Uh, I knew that wasn't gonna be a career. Um, I was stationed in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, in Road to Spain, which was beautiful. Um, all very challenging. Another story in itself, which I'll share sometime. Uh, very proud of that. Um, at this point, my dad, before I went to the military, my dad didn't want me to do that. Sometimes in life, guys, people don't want you to do things, but if you think it's the right thing to do, you need to do it, regardless if it's your parents. You need to go out and do it. If you have anything that you want to do just do it if it's positive and it's going to help your life then do it um so after the military that's when i met my wife and uh, we had a, a young boy and uh we eventually bought a house uh, i i work at the post office been there for eight years now and um this whole music thing took me a while to get into because uh, one, I was afraid to what people would think and two, it's hard with a full-time job and I was kind of dabbling around different things and I wanted to do something. I'm like, what motivates me? What inspires me? It took me a while to figure that out. Music has always changed my life. It's helped me through hard times. It's made good times better. That's what I say. And, um, I've started recording music and this is what I want to do and hopefully I can help other people out there and uh, maybe I can motivate along the journey. So um, yeah, in a, sh a short, you know, 10 minute video here, that's my life. Um, I could go in more detail if anybody has any questions or if you need help with anything, just, you know, shoot me a message or something. Uh, I love helping people out. Um, you know, I think in life, uh, everybody needs somebody. It needs something to, you know, um, fall back on. <clears throat> so this music thing, I mean, I, I love all types, types of music. I love rap, hip hop, country, depending on my mood, you know, it all depends. And uh, so we're situated here in the Western Mass. You know, I have a good job. I'm thankful for, I'm thankful for my health. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my dog here. This is Gus, if you haven't seen him yet in a video. Um, yeah, so we take it one day at a time, and I'm super excited for the project coming up here. Uh, June 23rd, uh, 4th and Long is my first um, single because I wanted it to be um, about something I really um, took pride in. And football changed my life. And it's more of like a pump-up type song that um, could be used in the locker room 
or even just bumping around the house, you know, whatever. Um, but I'm looking to improve my uh, craft and, uh, and I'm looking to learn. Uh, this is definitely just a start. I have a lot to learn. And the studio downstairs at the house um, is coming together, working on my sound and um, working on lyrics. So that's uh, my 10 minute video here, guys, about me. Uh, I love you guys all. I hope you guys can um, jump on the, the, the fiddlehead uh, uh, bandwagon, I guess. And uh, I thank you for your support. And I really appreciate everybody in my life today and whoever in the past has helped me get through hard times and who you know brought me under their wing because there's been a lot of people and sometimes life happens and you can't necessarily reach out to everybody but that's my goal all right guys i love you and uh i hope to uh talk to you soon and i hope you um remember to get the uh june 23rd single coming out all right, peace.